we go. Alright, so we're on the draw. Not ideal. This deck is it's just nuts. This feels like one of the most powerful decks I've played in Standard in a long, long time. And I've been playing for a while. Like, Blue-White Delver. Um, uh, what was the... What's the blue white deck called? It was Jason, Stoneforge Mystic, and I can't remember what what the, the fancy name was for it. Um, but this uh, this deck is really good. Man, I all right, our opponent's taking a while. So currently we're two and one. Uh, we lost to Bant Fog when they. When we got stuck on four lands, and then when we drew over half our lands. Um, I think that matchup's good, because especially the David Williams one, they didn't have a whole lot of counter magic, because they count on the inevitability of the deck, whereas uh, we actually have a lot of interaction. Um, this hand is risky. We had this Field of Ruin, so against a lot of decks, we're going to be able to go get an island, so we're going to keep. But it's not... Insane. It's good though. We'll play it. If our opponent is on an aggressive deck, we did not keep a good hand for an aggressive deck. But something tells me Evolving Wild is not an aggressive deck, so that's fine. Okay. Play this mountain. The second field of ruin isn't exactly what we wanted, but that's fine. Red, green. Red, green. We're from Branch Walker. Can we just like red, green value? Whoa. Oh, Brontodon. That's unfortunate. Okay, so it's just red green dinos. Well, hopefully the Seacope can catch it like a rip jaw raptor. Well that's that's a good card to have. So we're gonna play the hub. It'll reset our blue eventually. Uh, unfortunately our opponent has not played a non basic yet. So that could really hose us if this ends up being the case. We're really counting these field ruins to be able to go get us blue sources. There we go. Uh, syncopate that. Done. So we know they have Brontodon in hand. And two other cards. So despite where we are right now, we're still really not in a terrible spot. There's an actual island, so that's good. Um, we're going to play the Field of Ruin. Because if we get the opportunity to blow up the Hashi, we'll just go ahead and do it. They play a Brontodon, that'd be unfortunate. Alright, so they still have the same Brontodon, they're going to get a land. It's interesting, I don't see the value in ramping in that turn, and they might as well have just uh, um, played the Brontodon. So they can actually get something on the battlefield, but that's okay. I'm okay with them doing it that way, just interesting choice. Um, it does mean that there's a high probability that they're going to have a Carnage Tyrant at some point. We could go Amulet to incentivize the Brontodon, but I would rather go Glimmer, hope they cast Brontodon so we can Harness, and then play Amulet. Dinosaur. Question is, are they being greedy and splashing like the white dinosaur? So that's something we have to worry about. Or one of the white big legendary ones. So if that's the case, then we have to like field of ruin this unclaimed territory, but I don't think that's something we really care about.
We need another red source for the Jaya. So we probably are going to still field it in this unclaimed territory anyway. There's Brontodon. All right, cool. So there's two cards in hand. That much mana could have played probably anything. Um, so it's good that that's the play. Uh, we can bottom the Sweltering Suns. Bottom the island. I would like to draw some action. Well, I guess that's a thing. Um, so if we go Harness Lightning, he gets to just sack and kill our amulet. Because we'd have to go amulet first in, a to do, in order to be able to do both. Uh, we could go Jaya plus and then Harness Lightning. We'd have no energy left. I think that's probably better than just taking the whole turn off. Yeah, let's do that. Red. Plus for mana. Yeah, this feels better. Shoot this Brontodon. For four. Okay. So we're out of energy. But that's okay. We still have commit sweltering sun, so we have things that can clean up the board. We're not sitting on any counter spells. It's like a unique aspect after playing this deck is that we don't sit on counter magic. We sit on things that can answer, but they also have the ability to be counter magic if necessary. That card's a problem. Let's see what they do with it. Okay, so they have lightning strike exiled. Are they gonna shoot Jaya or are they gonna shoot me? They could shoot Jaya and then have another lightning strike and kill Jaya. That'd be unfortunate. That'd be disappointing. But we would live. We would trudge forward. Um, we can't feel the ruin and commit, which would be nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh no, because it took their mana to do that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to play Primal Amulet. We could plus Jaya and then commit Chandra. That might just be better. That might be better. So there's Sulfur Falls. Or do we want to plus Jaya and just get rid of some cards? I think we go Amulet. I kind of want to start working towards flipping it. Yeah, we're gonna bin. We're gonna put, we're gonna put Jaya uh, Chandra back into their deck, second from the top with a commit, and then we have the option to either loot on the following turn. We're one mana short of being able to just not even have to use Jaya's ability to do it. Um, loot on the following turn, or, um, or yeah, loot with Jaya, and then if we still don't like what we get, we can flash back memory. So that's an option. So Chandra's out of the way. So currently we're not facing down any real threats. Uh, Registrar Alpha would still take Jaya to one. And we have a Sweltering Suns to kill the token. We just have to find a way to kill the, the big guy. Looks like our opponent's kind of drawing dead. Um, we're going to go ahead and get rid of Mountain Field of Ruin Sweltering Suns. We're in the advantage now, so we might as well just go ahead and make sure that we can press that. So we can cycle Glimmer of Genius, or cy cycle Sweltering Suns, cast Glimmer of Genius, and cast Harness Lightning. Chandra, so let's do this first. See what we get. If we can draw a commit, we can commit the Chandra. Our 
opponents had a very slow start. Alright, so we're looking for Nexus of Fates. Um, looking for commits, or more glimmers, or supreme wills. Really not. After Nexus of Fate, really don't care what we get. Alright, so we don't want these lands. There's a Nexus of Fate, and the search is pretty good. Uh, they forgot to plus it. It's unfortunate. It's like, well, So yeah, now we're about to start really going off um, at mana. Um, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I want a supreme will first. Um, we'll take. Another Nexus of Fate. Cool. So this means we will be going infinite. Um, and we'll use one of our energy to play this search for Azkanta. Yes. Or we don't even have to use our energy. That works. Blue. One. Search for Azkanta. Cool. All right. So we have an extra turn. Uh, Great guard. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna plus for mana. Tap. Uh, both these are colorless. And one. Oh well. Oh well. All right. So we have two more turns after this one. Um, we're gonna activate. Um, as Kanta, and we'll take the single paid in any order. Okay. Uh, plus for mana. So we still have <coughs> one more turn after this one. We're about to go to three turns after this one. Now I feel comfortable glimmering, so we just want to find this fight with fire. Take this glimmer. Put on top. Spire bluff. Put on bottom. Draw two. We get another nexus of fate. So play the spire bluff. And pass. Alright. So cast the nexus before we do anything else. Oh wait. Cancel. Generate mana. There we go. And now we go for this. Alright. So, we have basically infinite turns set up. Uh, we're going to Glimmer. Bottom both of these. We're looking for a fight with fire. Uh, so we play this land. We're going to Supreme Will. Uh, we'll take a Nexus of Fates. Any order. Alright, so we have a lot of Nexus of Fates. So we can actually start discarding cards. We have multiple Nexus of Fates, so I want to discard before I play. Um, Nexus. Um, so we're actually going to activate this before because we have two Nexus in hand. Uh, another Nexus in hand. Any order. We actually have an extra turn built up, so I'm going to not cast a Nexus yet. We can do it next turn if we need to. Um, discard one. It's unfortunate. All right, so let's look again. Uh, take 
the supreme will in the order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can't cast supreme will. So we just cast nexus. All right. Okay, so we're gonna discard. One, two, three. Um, all right. All right, cancel. Uh, let's activate as Kanta. Um, take this Jaya. Doesn't really matter. Cast the Supreme Will. Cast it twice. Fight with fire. Uh, any order. And island. Any order. Okay. So now we generate mana. Uh, tap for a red. Okay. Uh, two colorless, one, two, three. Cool. So we now reach 20 of the opponent. Oh, that, I thought magic was about to break for a second. <laughs> Ooh, that would have been bad. All right, cool. So we win ga that game. Uh, it took us a long time to do it, but we got there. Um, I really don't mind the Cinco Pates being out. <sighs> I like Hulks and the way they match up. Um, Sweltering Suns dinosaurs don't really die to Sweltering Suns very well. Um, I'm okay going down a commit, and we should go like two Virtuoso. We'll try this. Seems good. I think this is like the deck. This deck is just so resilient. It's ridiculous. You have so many plays you can make. I'm all about this deck. If we could just make this deck um, eternally legal in all formats, I'm in. Like, I can play this this 75 in standard for the rest of my life. I'll do that. Because this is great. This is a blast. I don't think there's anything else we really want to bring in. I guess I can't multitask? I don't really understand. Oh, because he was trying to do something else and didn't charge his Chandra at the time. Uh, this hand is okay. Um, we're a little bit weak to Thrashing Brontodon and Artifact Hate. And they're definitely bringing it in, but I think this is fine. We can kill a 4 Toughness Dinosaur. We have the lands we need. So, that Hour of Devastation makes a huge difference. Also, them not having a turn to Thunderherd Migration really helps. Should have played Aether Hub, so if they played a uh, Brontodon, we could have killed it. That was a mistake. Oh, they're going to miss a land drop? Okay, well, then yeah, we're definitely far, far, far ahead. Play the search. See if they brought in naturalize. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not something I like seeing happening to opponents. It doesn't really help either of us. Yeah, we're in graveyard deck. We're ahead. We just want to make sure we hit our lands pretty soon. We're going to play this amulet. So now we can actually Devastation next turn, but we're not going to need to. Oh man. 
yeah, it just gets you. Okay, well that saves us time. So we have one game to get left to go. We've locked up the three wins. We're gonna see if we can go four one.